Hi guys, it's myself, Liney Dumps Plays. I'm, I'm back with another video, but this is something completely different that I'm going to be doing. So, I was, was with my mate Jake Fusion yesterday, so I just wanted to go through some of the games that he did kindly gave to me as well because he wanted to get rid of them. But obviously, uh, CEX wouldn't take them anyway because it wasn't on the database. But I'm just going to show you some of the PlayStation 1 games that he's donated me. So just got to say thanks for JFusion86 who's given me the game. So I thought I'd just make a video about the pickups that I've done uh, yesterday. And uh, these are some of the best games that I've got so far. So going into this one. Apart from Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, so these are all the games that I've got today. No, in fact, it was yesterday as well. Apart from Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, which I've bought myself, but the um, rest of all, uh, J Fusion donated them to me, but not really donated them to me. So he um, sold on me for like 10 UK pounds as well. So I've got quite a good bargain there as well. And looking at the condition of the games it's so good as well so the other pickup stuff I've actually done so um, let's look at this one here so we got the original Super Mario Maker which is on the Wii U and I did manage to get hold of the limited edition one with the art book in it as well for 10 UK pounds in CEX so we had a good browse around just looking for retro classics and see what other pickups that we can do but Unfortunately, um, this is going to be the last of the video that I will be doing as well for you all as well. So, just got to say thank you so much for 200 subscribers. The channel is insanely growing now. And thank you so much for the support on the Super Mario Maker 2 live streams, which I have done recently as well. And the other games that I did pick up on, the last two I want to go through, is two Xbox 360 classics, which I have got for £3 each. So this is the limited edition of Halo Wars, the Xbox 360 classic. But as you can see, the packaging is not so bad. It's a little bit tatty, but it's been well looked after as well. And then you've got this one, Mass Effect limited edition as well, which is absolutely in pristine condition. But as you can see, the price on there, um, it was um, the price on there, if you could see it, weren't able to see it really well. Sorry about that, guys. I just gotta say it was three pounds, and the Halo Wars was three pounds as well. But let's go right into it, guys, shall we? So, Resident Evil 3, the PlayStation Classic, was one of my favourites, and it doesn't really top the original version of it, which is this one. But just say I'm sorry about the ice cream van because I live on the busy road as well. So, just days after surviving the grisly disaster of the Mansion Lab, Jill Valentine resigns from Stars. So, based on that, Jill does resign from Stars in Resident Evil 3. And if you look at this, it's got all the manual and the book as well. And the condition of the disc is, even look at that, hardly any scratches on there. Because you, know, you can tell it's been well looked after. So. Got, this was the best pickup I've done from CEX and it's worth keeping now still anyway and uh, let me just unbox um, Mass Effect so with the limited edition of Mass Effect you've got the steel uh, case itself well let's just open that but I like how the the text is actually sticking up but I do apologize for that just dropped my thing on the floor but looking at the sleeve itself let me just get this one out So it's nicely designed, it, it opens up like this, you got the bonus content disc and you've got the actual game disc itself, but I'm just going to look at the condition of that. The, the bonus disc has hardly been used and you've got the game disc as well which has been used quite a bit, but look at the condition of that, it's really good. And then what else we got for the limited edition? Um, even looking at the ma manual itself, you got you got the manual which is in pristine condition. I have made a video on that this before, so I thought I'd just make one just for the purpose of this. Sorry guys, I dropped the art book on the floor. But a future in manage so it gives you all the 
detail of all the art so you've got all the levels it's all nicely sketched out all the characters there like the N17 and you've got all the different worlds there I never really got into Mass Effect but I played number three and that was it and it shows you all the sketches in here as well which is absolutely brilliant as well and then obviously you've got all these more levels in here and um, you've got the Citadel what's in it that's about it and these are all the weapons that are in the game and then what we got here we got there so this one will be the Galactic Codex Essentials Edition 2183 so this is quite an old limited edition game and this will give you all the Galactic Codex information the Citadel conventions that I'm not going to read on too much about that but that's about it yeah so that's all it for the game so this is all of it for the limited edition but it was a good pickup anyway and then let's put that to the side and and we're gonna go into Halo Wars so with the Halo Wars you got the steel book which I'm actually gonna get out as well but I like how it just comes in a nice fancy steel case this is the very original Halo Wars which is so difficult to get hold of. So in here is the user manual. Um, you've got the 360 controls in there as well. And then not only that, you've got Halo Wars, which is a really, really good pristine condition disc as well. Yeah, being well looked after. But I don't think I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to get this out. It's going to be a bit hard. Oh, I finally got it out. So as you can see, this is absolutely a heavy package here, guys. So this is the coaster, limited edition coaster. So what does it say on here? Uh, UNSC Spirit of Fire, as you can see there. And then, um, how do we even get into this? And um, all of this is the art book here. Okay. I wonder how this actually got in here. Um, Not interesting in what else is yeah so it was just the codes for battlefield hardline now it wasn't the codes it was just a leaflet for it and then we got the two year X the two month Xbox live uh, trial as well they've all been redeemed guys so there won't be any good now and then uh, what have we got here we got the Halo Wars Genesis so it, comes in a nice fancy book and we got the the feel like tracing paper there Halo Wars Genesis so it's actually a comic based book there so you got all these comic stories and I do like that as well very much interesting and what we got here I've not even come across of this but this was such a rare find oh okay you got UNNC got all these cards of the characters sorry guys I don't really care if they're not the right way up or they are the right way up but I do have a bit of OCD as well to be honest that, okay that's that done and the next one I want to go through is Super Mario Maker the very very original on the Wii U as well so taking it out of this box here, we got the game disc itself. So this was a this was a bit of a rare find, but I did get a bargain for it. So as you can see, there was there's not even a manual in there. It's just like the the health and safety information, and we got the game disc, and then obviously we got the the artwork as well. So these are all the book of the levels. So what I like about the original Super Mario Maker is you can use the Wii U gamepad to, to make the levels which is insanely fun. So the Super Mario Maker 2 was, is the sequel for Super Mario Maker original. But yeah, I'm happy with the pickups but the last things I want to go through is the pickups that are done with the PlayStation one uh, which I've got from a very very good friend Jay Fusion so I've got the original Dragon Ball Z so this 
so this was the ultimate battle 22 so i don't think it was a japanese version but it was a european version yeah it's a european version of the game because it's a pal version as well the user manuals in here but this is one of the best original Dragon Ball Z's I've come across with. I actually do remember playing this back in the days. Yeah, and we got them. This is not my cup of tea, but I thought I'd just keep it for collection. This is Formula One 2000 officially, officially licensed product. I should say licensed by Sony Computer, Computer Entertainment. Oh god, that's falling out and it's... But look at the condition of the disc, it's just so pristine. I actually like it. And uh, so what we've got here, um, uh, downhill mountain biking developed by Codemasters. So the world's going downhill, forget the fear, test your skill, your balance, your nerve, ride, kamikaze style, ride on the edge, no engine, it's all against the elements. So, um, race on the trails around the world, each unique challenges. You've got battles shoulder to shoulder against friends or foe. And then you've got uh, full on action replays, which is really, really brilliant as well. Are you ready for this one, guys? I don't think you're gonna, you're gonna try and get hold of this game. Are you ready for this? Okay, here we go. Simpsons wrestling <laughs> wow this is this isn't wrestling this is Simpsons wrestling so this is a absolute rare find here and then um, look at that it's really really good really good condition as well and then um, get ready for squishy throwing tendon twisting duff um, Cloud bargain against um, all of your favourite characters. Battle through the Springfield wrestling ring. Absolutely cool on that. And then we got. Oh my god. You must be a big fan of pinball. You want you wanted the best, you got the best. So this is the other game I was on about. This is you the two incredible tables, double the action. And it's up to one to four players as well. But as you know, these have all got the user manuals in. I'm just really impressed with the condition of it as well. Wow. Look at that. Absolute, absolute pristine. I think I should have like a blast on these, but I will definitely add these to my collection too. And we got the two disc game here. We got Chase the Express, which is... Um, here begins the countdown to annihilation of Europe so so this is basically like a like a train um, based game so the blue harvest military train developed by NATO has been uh, hijacked by terrorists military body guard Jack Morton having uh, narrowly escaped to death of terrorist attack and sneaks inside the blue harvest in solid bits to tackle control of the train so so Jack Morton has the mission to actually um, fight off the terrorists to gain control of the train again but this game sounds like it's really really good so if I did not take these games from Jay Fusion he would have uh, chucked them away and I said you ain't chucking them away I'm gonna take them man so he kindly um, given me the whole lot for 10 UK pounds and then the last one and last one I want to go through is Hidden and Dangerous which is another PlayStation classic so the year is 1941 your special forces team has been shot down uh, deep inside enemy territory and it's now a uh, re relay re okay I can't even read it on your running tactical thinking of getting them safely across the border so as you can see immerse story above 20 diverse missions, conduct, conduct convert operations behind enemy lines, and then um, intense first person action. So, 
talking about. Uh, it, it's actually one of the good first-person shooter games on the PlayStation One, which I'm not. I've not even come across with this game, but it sounds like it's a good game to play. But Sony did make a good job of the PlayStation One games back in the days, anyway. But I do gotta say. This was another pickup video I've done, and it's been one of the best ones I've actually done with one of my closest mates. Then, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And then I will be back with some more live streams and more Nintendo-related stuff. And then if I do come across with any like retro game pickups, I'm be happy to make more videos about it, dudes. So take care of yourselves, have a good one, stay blessed.